now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, it wasn't a record breaker today, but it certainly was very nice this afternoon with some sunshine. The clouds are beginning to take back over in some spots. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing the relatively quiet conditions outside, though, in terms of precipitation. Live city camp picture still got some breaks in those clouds. Nice sunset there. Temperature currently at 53 degrees, so it's still mild, but the temperatures will be dropping over the next several hours fairly quickly. Winds from the northwest at 7 miles an hour will be ushering in some colder air. 48 in Smithfield, 53. Providence 52 in Westerly, New Bedford 54 degrees. The satellite radar picture showing the clouds working their way across southern New England and kind of overspreading the area once again. Notice some precipitation offshore. Some of our computer charts are indicating that some of that may kind of work its way back into southern New England during the uh, late night and early tomorrow morning. I'll show you that in just a second. But a cold front will continue to work its way offshore, stall, and then a little ripple of energy comes by and uh, gives us a, a little bit of precipitation, mainly at the south coast late tonight. And then the rest of the day tomorrow looks to be fairly quiet with high pressure taking control but another ripple of area, another ripple of low pressure travels along that front for Wednesday and could give us some snow uh, for at least portion of the day on a Wednesday. Our neighborhood future cast shows us fairly nicely. Six o'clock tomorrow morning with mainly cloudy skies. Going to stop right here at around 9:30 with a few raindrops or sleet pellets along the south coast, and then throughout the rest of the day, just generally cloudy. Might be a couple of sprinkles near the south shore throughout the afternoon. But take note of what happens tomorrow. Night. We begin to see an area of snow develop inland areas, rain elsewhere, and there could be some accumulations, especially north and west of Route 295 uh, Wednesday morning. We'll be watching this very closely throughout the night and see what the, the computer charts are indicating, but then it looks like it'll be turning over to mainly rain. Generally, one to three inches expected in cro across that part of the world. The higher amounts, some of the higher terrain does not look like a, a major uh, a system at all, maybe just an inch or so in the Providence area and before turns over to any rain. This evening temperatures will be falling down through the 40s. Your Tuesday morning will be seeing increasing amounts of sunshine, uh, but uh, we're not looking at a lot of sun tomorrow, but you'll see some breaks for the late morning. About 40 degrees at 11 a.m. Only topping out in the low 40s on the east side in downtown Providence tomorrow. We were in the 60s today. Not to, not tomorrow though. Low 40s in uh, Garden City, Barrington 42, 43. Along the south shore temperatures should be topping out at about 41 degrees in Hope Valley. Up in Northern Rhode Island temps uh, topping out at about uh, 40, 41 degrees or so. And over in southeastern Massachusetts, temperatures should be also topping out in the lower 40s. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. And there's that snow turning to rain on Wednesday. Then after that, gets progressively colder 30s for the weekend, possibly only topping out at 28 degrees next Monday. Right now, the big game in Foxborough looks like it'll be in the 20s with clear skies. Die hard fans out there for that. <laughs> More coverage you can count on still ahead on Eyewitness News Live.